Today I'm going to show you all how to make pepper roti. Mm -hmm. Pepper roti is a flavorful and spicy flatbread dish from Trinidad and Tobago. It features a thin crispy dough filled with a mixture of mashed potatoes, grated carrots, cheese and hot peppers, creating a vibrant and spicy filling. The roti is cooked on a towel until golden brown and crispy on the outside, while the inside remains soft and packed with savory spicy goodness. Pepper roti is often enjoyed as a street food or as part of a meal loved for its bold flavors and satisfying texture. All right, so the first step for our pepper roti is we need to cook our potatoes. So I went ahead and peeled these and I cut it into about like one inch pieces. And we want to submerge these in water over the fire and let them cook until al dente. Now a general rule of thumb for most ground provisions is you want to put it in room temperature water and let the water come up to temperature while the potato is in it so that it could slowly cook. Because what tends to happen is if you boil the water first, it tends to um, eviscerate or break up or mash up ground provisions. So we're just going to throw this on the fire. It should take about 10 to 12 minutes until it's al dente and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so while our potato is on the fire, we're just going to knead our dough in the meantime. So here I'm just adding some brown sugar, bacon powder and salt to our sifted flour. Just want to incorporate evenly before we add in the whole water. Alright, just making a well in the middle now. Alright, now we're just going to add in some water and just take any hydrated pieces and pull them to one side this is a, a foolproof way of not over hydrating your, your dough Make a little hole another hole some more water all right and as we hydrate we just pull to the side make another hole more water just using my hands and the dough to also clean the bowl as i continue all right just pull all the hydrated flour the hydrated dough and you just continue to add a little water just until you've hydrated all of the dough. All right, so now we can start to bring it together. And then the remaining dry clumps will settle at the bottom and you just pull them on one side and just hydrate them. Yeah, it's good to have a little scraper handy to clean your fingers as you go. And as I said earlier, you just clean the bowl. Now you're looking for a somewhat tacky bowl of dough. Yeah, you don't want it too soft, but you definitely don't want it dry at all. Yeah, and once once it's resting, it will continue to absorb the moisture. So you don't have to worry too much. Right, so now that you bring it together, just take a little oil. Coat it, just flip it over. Right, and from here you can take a warm damp cloth, cling wrap, or if your bowl or container has a cover and you cover it, and we're going to let it rest. We let it rest to allow the protein in the flour to relax, allow it to continue to absorb the moisture. Once the protein has relaxed, it will become a lot more smoother, more easier to work. So we're going to let this sit for about a half an hour. Alright, so our potato is fully cooked. So what we're going to do now, gonna season so with some salt, so a black pepper. Going in with our heat one time. So traditionally you use raw pepper, but I am using fermented pepper sauce. This is, a, this is from a tutorial we did, so we'll be sure to link. All right now, of course, you adding in how much you want. Yeah, it's pepper roti, so it must have a little heat to it. But that level of heat is up to you. And before we add the rest of our ingredients, just gonna mash it and get it mixed up. Before we add in, oh wow, I can smell that pepper already. Yeah, I'm just gonna mash it a little bit before we add in the rest of our flavorings. It's also a good time to taste as well for salt and heat before you add the rest of your ingredients. All right, so now we can add in the rest of our ingredients. So we're going with some carrots, and then we're going with some shadow benny, garlic, and sweet peppers. And you could use a spoon to mix this up, but I'm just using the potato masher one time. Alright, so now we're going to set this aside, let it cool down a little bit and move on with our roti. Alright, so 30 minutes has elapsed for our pepper roti dough. So we're just going to uncover. Now again, if you want to be super anal about dough being even, you could pull the scale out and wait. I'm not going to do that. Just gonna divide it in two and four. Then I'm gonna divide these 
two again. And then I'm just gonna shape it into a smooth round ball in my hand, using the palm of my hand. Place it on the board. Or you could use the counter. Now the size of your pepperoni is totally up to you. Some people are comfortable using this entire size um, of dough and making one large pepperoni. I prefer to make these smaller ones. I just find they look a little better and they're a lot easier, faster to cook, easier to manage on the tower as well. And we're gonna let them rest and relax again for about 10 minutes or so before we roll them out. All right, so now it's time to roll out our pepperoni. So starting with the first one, just gonna coat it in flour. Then I'm just gonna gently press it out with my fingers before I roll it out with the rolling pin. And I'm just rotating it 90 degrees just to ensure it spreads out evenly. Let's say you want to roll this out to about a quarter inch in thickness. Remember we're making smaller pepperotis so you don't want it too thick because you want this to cook or this is as a matter of fact going to cook relatively fast so you want to make sure it cooks all the way through right so i'm turning it over actually no even on that side and we're going in with the next one and the goal here is you want to get them about the same size roughly for the second one because it's going to have a little time to contract you want to roll it out slightly bigger than the first pushing away this excess flour because we don't want too much flour on the outside i'm turning it over because i do want some flour on the inside and now it's time to layer. So I like to start with thin layer of cheese at the bottom, then our pepperoni filling. Just gonna spread it out as best as I could. All right, now you don't wanna press it on too much because what you'll end up doing is spreading out your dough or your lawyer. You don't wanna do that. So I'm just using my fingers and just bringing it together and also spreading it out a little bit. And I'll also show you how I'll spread it out on the tower as well. I'm keeping the edges clear. I'll try my best to keep the edges clear. All right, now we're going in with another layer of cheese. The cheese, apart from flavor, it also acts as glue. And that's why you wanna leave this extra flour on your dough as well, because that helps to prevent the cheese from running out of your pepperoni. Right, so what I'm doing now, I'm just going to clean my borders, brush off the excess flour and keep as much of the cheese in as possible. Wet the edges with some water. Put the one flour side down directly over the first one and try your best to line it up. And if it's a little smaller, that's okay. You could just give it a little stretch, pull it to the edges. And as soon as you meet the edges, you could just give it a little press just to hold it in place. And now I'm just taking a fork and you press it together. All right, and from here we're going straight to the tower. All right, and then straight onto our tower we go. And you could just use the dabbler to pull it out a little bit. Right, and if it looks a little rough on top, that's all right. Once you flip it over, you'll be able to smooth it out a little bit. I'm gonna use this opportunity just to brush some ghee, clarified butter on the top layer. And my tower is heated over a uh, medium to low heat. What I did, I heated it up well, and then I just brought the temperature down just to hold it, because you don't want to burn the roti. It's been about four to five minutes. Let's flip it now, see how it looks. Wow. Is we're looking for brush and ghee, clarified butter. Just give it a gentle press. So now is the time to, if you want to even it out a little bit. Again, low fire. We just want to let this do its do its thing. All right. So now it's time to cut our pepper roti. We'll put it up here for you all. Sure. 
So open it up and share. You see how the cheese melted now? Married well with the potato. You can even smell all the fermented pepper sauce and everything. Wow. Again, you can eat this by itself. Or you could serve it as a side or a starter. It's a fun snack. There you go, pepperoni.